All right, the IFP in Guazulu Natal has filed papers with the Peter Marisberg High Court requesting that the judiciary have Zandile Gumeda's appointment by the ANC in the province as a member of the Guazulu Natal provincial legislature overturned. Gumeda, along with 16 municipalities, Municipal officials are facing charges of fraud, corruption and racketeering linked to a tender scam valued at over 400 million rand, which occurred during her tenure as Eteguini mayor. IFP leader Velengo Sinishabisa joins us now to tell us more. Uh, Shabisa, good evening and thank you very much for your time tonight on the Newsfeed Late Night. Are you saying to me that all attempts to speak to the ANC have yielded no results? Have they flatly refused to address this matter? Uh, good evening, Tabo, as well as the viewers. <clears throat> Definitely, we have tried all avenues. As we had constantly reported to the people of Wazulu Natal regarding this matter, our first attempt, we approached the Speaker of the Legislature, who indicated to us that she can't do anything. We must talk to the ANC. At least she responded in writing to our request to her. But unfortunately, the ANC did not even acknowledge the receipt of the letter, nor even respond to our letter, where we explained why we are of the view that Zandile Kumete should not be on the payroll because she is not doing anything. <clears throat> she is not attending any sitting nor any portfolio, nor any oversight visit, and she can earn a full salary, not doing anything in a country where unemployment is very high and people who want to work, they can't get a job, and someone is earning a big salary, not going to work, but sitting at home. Now, Zandra Kumete has been maintaining and continues to maintain that this is a, a political uh, a conspiracy or co political battle happening within her own party. She's actually not guilty at all of any of these things that uh, it's been claimed uh, she is guilty of. Uh, what is your uh, uh, reason for wanting to, to pursue this in the court of law? Uh, the issue, Tabo, is that you can't have a public representative who is earning a full salary every month with all benefit. And this is the taxpayer's money. Some of the people who contribute into this tax work under difficult conditions. They wake up on a rainy day to work outside. Some of them go to work even sick. And they contribute to this tax which, uh, from which Zandile Kumete is going to be benefiting. If this is the political matter within the ANC, they must solve their political issue as an organization, and should, they should allow Zandile Kumete to do the legislature work. Because our point is, Zandile Kumete was instructed to step aside. She's not going to be doing anything. Since she was sworn in, she has never attended even a single meeting of the legislature, a single meeting of the portfolio, a single oversight visit. Yeah. And she is literally not doing anything but is earning a salary every month. Now, we cannot allow this new culture. Now, Zandra Gumeta remained as a proportional uh, representative councillor uh, in the Council of Eteguini after her dismissal. This was really not challenged by the IFP. What is different now to her appointment to the legislature? Yes. If you remember, remember Chavo, we demanded that Zandile Kumete step down as a mayor. Eventually, she stepped down as a mayor. We did not worry when she remained as a councillor because we felt she must remain as a councillor until she is proven whether she is guilty or not. But the promotion and the deployment from being a councillor to the legislature is what the ANC is known of doing. When a person steals in a local municipality, the person is promoted to a legislature or national parliament. Or if a person steals from one department, a person is removed to another department. That is what we are challenging. 
We had no problem if she remained as a councillor until she is clear whether guilty or not guilty. But the promotion, and what is worse, Chabo, as a member of the legislature, she is not doing anything. When she was a councillor, she was attending council meetings, attending community issues as a councillor. But now she is said she must step aside not do anything that has to do with the legislature, yet earning a salary yeah. out of the taxpayers' money. Yeah. That is the bone of contention. Well, the, the president has uh, articulated and weighed in on that, previously asked on that question, as the president of the ANC, what does it mean to step aside, and why would you step aside and continue to earn a salary? Well, she says, well, he says, rather, uh, there are labor relation considerations. There are labor laws in this country that would not allow you uh, not to pay someone. But, however, in terms of managing uh, their internal uh, issues within the ANC, they have resolved that somebody who is facing such corruption charges should not be involved in, 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 in activities uh, that have got to do with the running of, uh, for example, a council. Yeah, that is a problem, uh, Tabo. If the ANC is dealing with its internal challenges, they should not do that at the expense of the taxpayers' money. I made a typical example. The taxpayers' money out of which Zandile is benefiting comes from people who work under difficult conditions. And those people given a chance, they wouldn't allow their tax to be used in this fashion to pay a big salary for someone who is doing literally nothing, yet earn a salary. The IFP would not have a problem if Zandi is attending the legislature, attending portfolio, doing oversight work, and earning a salary. We will not have a problem. Our problem is she is not doing anything of the legislature. Why is she earning a salary? What, are you, uh, what sort of relief are you seeking from the courts? Uh, and uh, what, what is the, uh, the pillar of your argument that you're bringing to the court? The relief we are seeking from the court is not to allow a new culture of people who are told to step aside and any a salary from the taxpayers' money, not doing anything. Zandile Kumete must step down and resolve her issues with her organization. And our argument is that a public representative is not deployed in terms of the Labor Relations Act. It is a deployment by a political party to do certain activities at a provincial or national assembly. If you are not doing any of those activities, why should you remain in the payroll and earn a salary, yet you are not doing anything in a country with such high, un high unemployment, yet we pay someone not doing anything? IFP leader Velenko Zinshabis, I appreciate your time, and thank you for talking to us tonight on the Newsweek Late Night.